Hello random Supermania user. Uh, I was messing around in the engine bay this last week and figured I could take a quick video to show you what I think you need. So I think this is what you're missing, which is a collection of three metal uh, pipes that connect hoses from the left side and right side of the engine. So um, the large section of this pipe is for the idle control valve. If you don't have that connected, then you need to get idle air from somewhere. Um, this valve works really well on the 7M, so if you've got it, you should use it and just connect it over. Um, you could just use random hose, um, although it would certainly look nicer if you had this metal pipe work in there. Uh, if you've got the rest of the intake intact, which you might not. So anyway, that's the big pipe. The next largest is the bypass valve or blow-off valve vacuum signal. This is how that valve knows whether the engine is under boost or vacuum and when to open the bypass valve or blow-off valve. Um, it, uh, it normally routes this way and then you can see it coming out here so then it would go onto the, uh, the accordion in the factory intake setup. Uh, where the blow or the uh, bypass valve is mounted, uh, it comes around here and goes down. There's a strange little metal uh, pipe that takes it from the top side of the intake down to the bottom side of the manifold. Where, kind of hard to see, but you can see some pipe work right there. That's where it goes and then comes right back up here and is connected to this, which I think you have capped if I read your description correctly. Um, so not a big deal. I, I don't know that that's a problem. Um, you'll need vacuum to your uh, fuel pressure regulator. So provided you have vacuum here, I think you're okay. Uh, the smallest of the tubes here is for the charcoal canister. So it goes from throttle body, this is a JDM throttle body, so if yours doesn't look quite like this, that's okay. The US version has another port for EGR, I believe. Uh, my car is a JDM ECU and throttle body, so there is no EGR at all. Uh, but on yours, if it's a US variety, there might be EGR. Anyway, um, so this routing goes here through the pipework, and then normally you would come out here to your water outlet and there's the BVSV, the uh, bimetal vacuum switching valve, I think is what that stands for, and that'll switch your vacuum on and off to your charcoal canister. If you don't have a charcoal canister, there's not really any purpose for that system. So. Um, if you're out in rural Iowa, I think it was, uh, chances are your legal situation may not require that. Um, but if you have a charcoal canister, that's how it should be plumbed. Uh, if you don't have a charcoal canister, then you don't need that. And you're not going to lose anything on here. So uh, there you go. I think that's what you need. Um, oh, and the power steering. Um, that normally comes down here, the metal pipe that goes across that front cover of the engine, and then over there, my power steering pump is out right now, that's why I've got this all apart. Um, but normally you'd have power steering right there, and the vacuum hoses go there, and the other end goes up to the accordion, and there's a port on the bottom of the accordion for that over here. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense, and hopefully that helps. Um, this is an excuse for me to promote my website, yodamd.com, and uh, the associated YouTube channel. So, there you go.